Hey people, welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, then welcome. Woohoo! I'm so excited to have you here. Today, I'll be talking about Shirley Fripro Manso's new film titled Potato Potato. Would you bring a hot looking gentleman into the home you share with your ex husband? No, but I won't share the same house with my ex husband. Mr. Quate. So, Potato Potato features OC UKJ, Jocelyn Dumas, Kemi Lala, Akin Doju, Joke Silva, Blossom Chiku Jeku, and then you have appearances by Chris Sato and a few other people. This film tells the story of a particular couple who were married, but because of a few marital challenges, they weren't getting along and constantly fighting and whatnot, they decided to get a divorce. Even after getting a divorce, they are still living together. Why is this film so beautiful? The sound. The sound sound is like music not like pangolo musical but beautiful music to your ears the picture was beautiful let's talk about the casting for a minute shall we i mean we have oc ukj and jocelyn dumas this is not the first time we are seeing them together we've seen them together act as lovers in love or something like that remember that film i also reviewed it they're back together on screen and of course they have great chemistry together and then you have lala akindo in the film who is also a brilliant actress you have auntie joker silver who is a veteran i mean come on what am i going to tell you about her that you don't already know talk about blossom chukujek as the friend i think he nailed the character as well the surprise casting for me was cristato and his character as the help but it was just not any help it was a help that was quite silly that or in this character i never imagined it could pull that off but he did such a great job and it was hilarious to watch it was like watching a stage play in the film because the the movement of the actors was consistent with the movement of the camera and it just made it so beautiful to watch the costume and the styling in this film was beautiful the lighting created the perfect mood the scoring and soundtracks in this film were also beautiful because it added more life to the film and of course you had like humor in a few places without losing the essence of the film this film is a low budget film and I said low budget in quote because I'm saying that I don't know what the budget was, but I'm saying the budget was not necessarily bank breaking or over the roof. You get. But if you're watching this film, the intelligence with which Shirley shot the film, you would not know that you're watching a low budget film. First, the number of locations in this film was not more than maximum maybe four but the way it was shot you would think they used the whole of accra to shoot the film another trick she used was to focus a lot on the cinematography so the cinematography was so beautiful you 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 think you forget that uh, we've been in the house since you know and then the casting was very limited so there were lots of people that we heard about that we did not see but it did not take out of the importance of the story that was being told. However, a few scenes did drag for a while, a bit longer than it should have. And then because the, the story was in the dialogue, we, we tend to get lost in lengthy dialogue a few times. There were also a few cliche scenes here and there where you were absolutely sure what was going to happen and they did happen. But overall, I think it was such a beautiful film, well told by Shirley Fripper Man. So kudos to the entire cast and crew of this film. I am rating it a 4 over 5. So it's definitely a must see. It's hitting the cinemas very, very soon. Make sure to go check it out when it does. What do you guys think about Shirley Free from Manso's films or the actors in this film? Are you excited about it? Are you going to the cinema to go see it? Let us continue the conversation down below in the comment section. Do remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so. I love you guys so, so much. Remain in God. God bless you. See you again very, very soon. Mwah. Bye, guys. Uh-huh.